Hi, Emily here from Homemade Emily Jane to tell you about the sail quilt pattern. Sail is a modern geometric half square triangle beginner friendly quilt pattern that is perfect for you if you want a quick and easy finish or maybe even for your very first quilt. If you are brand new to quilting, I want to invite you to make this quilt pattern and also check out this video linked above for the 12 steps to making a quilt. I designed this pattern specifically for beginners, but as a quilter that has been working on quilts for over eight years now, I still find it very fun to make too. The sail quilt pattern includes three different sizes, baby, throw, and queen bed sizes, and also includes alternate instructions for using an AccuQuilt fabric cutting machine. I use my AccuQuilt fabric cutting machine as often as possible because it makes quilting so much easier and I don't have to trim off any dog ears on my half square triangles. If you've never heard of AccuQuilt or aren't really sure how it works, check out this video above which will teach you everything you need to know about AccuQuilt and how to use one. I personally was super skeptic at first, but now that I've started using it, I found that it really changes the way I go about quilting and it saves a ton of time and makes my quilts more precise, which is why I try to include AccuQuilt instructions is in as many quilt patterns as I can. One really neat thing about the sail quilt pattern is it features two different ways to make half square triangles. So you can use both the magic eight half square triangle method where you make eight at a time for the smaller HSDs and then you use the two at a time super easy half square triangle technique for the larger half square triangles in the pattern. Alternatively, you can also cut out all the triangles using the AccuQuilt machine and then sew them together and there's no trimming or any funkiness involved, you just make the blocks. Let's cover some of my favorite tools to have on hand if you want to make the sail quilt. First off, I love to use heat erasing pens. Um, these are really great for any half square triangles that you are going to be drawing a diagonal line on the fabric for. You draw the line with the pen and then as soon as you go to press, the heat erases on its own. I also love to use best press. I treat all my fabrics with best press prior to cutting. So um, as soon as I get the fabric, I'll go ahead and spray it down, iron it so that it's nice and crisp and it keeps that fabric from stretching on the bias, which is super important if you're working with half square triangles. Another tool I definitely recommend getting if you're making the sail quilt would be rulers to trim your half square triangles. I love using the clearly perfect slotted trimmers and I would definitely recommend getting the large size for that as well so that you can trim any size half square triangle. But if you want just one ruler that does it all, you could also check out the block lock ruler, maybe the nine and a half inch square so you could use that to trim lots of different sizes for the half square triangles. One thing about the block lock versus the clearly perfect slotted trimmers, the slotted trimmers you will trim your half square triangles before pressing so then you can press them open or to the side. However, the block lock rulers work best when you press to the side and then the ruler itself actually grips onto that seam that you've already pressed. Throughout the sail pattern, you'll see that I find it works best if you press your seams open. So for that reason, I would recommend using the Clearly Perfect slotted trimmers. But of course, neither of those rulers are even really necessary. As long as you have a square ruler with a diagonal line on it, you can use that to trim up your blocks. And of course, if trimming is not for you, the sail quilt pattern does include AccuQuilt instructions. So all you need are two different size half square triangle dies and an AccuQuilt fabric cutting machine. And you can make these blocks without having to trim at all. If you think you might be interested in making the sail quilt pattern, let me share with you the fabric requirements here for a second. Of course, these fabric requirements are in the pattern, which you can find on my website, homemadeemilyjane.com. As you can see, this pattern has three sizes, baby, throw, and queen size, but since it is block-based, you can feel free to make as many blocks as you want and make it larger, or maybe in between sizes as well. One neat thing I wanna point out, if you'll be making the sail quilt with an AccuQuilt fabric cutting machine, you can actually use fat quarters instead of yardage. So the fabric requirements call for one third yard cuts, but you can actually use fat quarters if you're using the AccuQuilt and in the pattern itself, it'll tell you exactly how many fat quarters you'll need. To celebrate the launch and release of the sale quilt pattern, I have a few different shops that are partnered with me to provide quilt kits. I can definitely link all of them in the description below. And of course, these are limited quantities. So if you want one, make sure you get one today before they're out of stock. 
First off, the cover quilt is made entirely out of PBS fabric solids and my friends over at Rosie Girl Quilting have decided to put together a fabric bundle using the exact fabrics that I used on mine. So be sure to check out Rosie Girl Quilting for the throw size kit to make a quilt just like the one I made on the cover of the quilt pattern. Also, one of my pattern testers, Victoria from Midlife Quilter, made a baby size quilt with the most beautiful florals and low volume and pink and green and it was so cute and she's decided to put together bundles as well from her quilt shop too and finally i have one more shop offering bundles and that would be fabric and reason so if you like this quilt kit be sure to check it out in the description below and grab one today while prepping for the sale quilt pattern release i of course made a couple of versions myself First off, the throw size that's on the cover, as I mentioned earlier, is made entirely out of PBS solids. This quilt was so much fun to make, especially with these really vibrant colors, and as you can see, it'll be one that I cherish for many years to come. I also made two baby size quilts using the sail pattern. The first off is an orange and blue quilt. These are all Riley Blake basics and solids that come together to make a really fun baby boy quilt. And finally, I used my Accu quilt and Fat Quarters to make this Gingham Play Baby Girl quilt using the Michael Miller Fabrics collection. I ended up quilting this Baby Girl quilt all on my own using just simple straight lines and a cross hatch pattern. If you want tips and tricks for quilting your own simple straight lines perfect every time, be sure to check out my three quilting hacks for quilting straight lines. Now that I've shown you my three sale quilts that I made, let me go ahead and show you some of the amazing quilts my testers made to make sure that this pattern was perfect and ready for you. First off, my pattern tester Stephanie from October in the Wild made this super fun baby quilt with this denim chambray blue background fabric, which really pulls together the rest of these prints that she decided to use for the triangles. Next, this one was made by Charlene. Charlene actually used a layer cake, 10 inch squares, to make her quilt. So if you have pre-cuts laying around, this is a great quilt pattern for you too. I love the way she used this dark green background fabric and really lets those prints shine through. And now this is the quilt that I showed you earlier from Victoria from Midlife Quilter and she put together kits for this one. I really love the peach and the pink and the green together. It makes a really fun combination. Elena from Life and Peace Quilt Co. really shows off how fun this pattern can be if you just want to use three colors on yours. And Laura from Sharing Seams. I love Laura's work because she always uses these fun vibrant colors and I think she did a really good job on her sale quilt. And finally, Elise from Nurses Need Naps made this amazing red, white, and blue baby quilt. So now that I've shown you all these different versions of the sale quilt, I would love to hear which one is your favorite. So drop a comment below to let me know. And of course, I invite you to check out my quilt pattern shop at homemadeemilyjane.com and grab the sale quilt pattern for yourself today. I have both the PDF download that you can get immediately and a paper pattern that I mail to the US. And if you're a quilt shop, I also sell them wholesale too. Thanks so much for watching this video about the sale quilt pattern. Happy sewing. Thank you.